the sisters. What's going on, Brother Wisdom? Um, information I got, you know, I was, you know, resting. Um, had me a good workout today. I was resting. And the information I received while I was resting, and, you know, and I was in meditation, I was resting. And it's like, let's let everyone know that in order to go into this point of transformation, your transformation point, you must remain in a state of singularity. All right? Now, singularity, when you talk about singularity, you're talking about um, an extremely dense energy, all right? And it's a function that takes place when uh, dealing with space-time, all right? So we're talking about this singularity, we're talking about being one with nature, being one with the cosmos, being one, not being pulled away from everything around you, not being pulled away with gossip, you know, you got your Hollywood gossip going on. You got all kind of other gossiping going on. You can't be pulled away and say, well, I can play video games all day and still tap into spirit. You got to remain in the state of singularity, which means that you have to remain in a state of a, a mindset of oneness. All right. You understand that? You have to remain in a, a mindset of oneness, where you're one with nature, one with the cosmos, one within yourself. You have to be at that point, that very powerful point, a very powerful pinnacle point of singularity. All right, bringing yourself into the the point of the infinite wisdom and infinite knowledge of the all that is all around you, that is within you, that is a part of you, all right? This is extremely important, brothers and sisters, because you can't be pulled away from um, who you're supposed to be, all right? And it's important that we understand, understand, overstand the in-depth part of us that's supposed to remain in a state of singularity, which means that we both remain within the oneness, within oneness. All right. And I'm being redundant on this here. We must, we must remain in a state of oneness. All right. You may have family members who may be asleep. Understand that they're asleep. All right. I'm getting information on record numbers of brothers and sisters who are awakening. Record numbers of awakened brothers and sisters. All right? I'm getting record numbers. And it's, I mean, it's it's like, wow. I mean, you got brothers and sisters in the music industry who are awakening. And the music industry is just trying to keep that silent. All right. That's why, you know, they, they, those who actually go into that awakened state, they try to kill them off real fast and have a clone replace them. Seriously. Um, you have those in the religious area. You know, Creflo Dollar was one of the ones, one of the ones who actually had awakened um, early on. All right. He had awakened early on. He, he, he had a, 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 what you call an, an epiphany, all right? You have brothers and sisters who are in the medical industry who are awakening, those who are in the educational industri in industry that are awakening, those who are in the, the, the money market, all right? They're awakening. You have those who are in the political arena, all right? They're awakening. You have those who are in the law enforcement and the, and the judicial area who are awakening. So in the stock market, I mean, you, you name it. Brothers and sisters are awakening all over the realm. All right. And your oneness, your singularity and oneness helps to properly disperse this energy 
across to all brothers and sisters. Now you have some brothers and sisters who are infected and and some of them who have just, I don't know, you know, there's one brother that I had to remove from one of the groups because he literally went rogue. It's like he just, I don't know what he was doing over there in the UK. I have no idea what he's doing over there. But whatever he's doing, that his energy ain't right. And I had to remove him from the group, from uh, Earth Children of Meditation because um, he just, I mean, he even sent me an inbox to him, I'm gonna kill you. I'm like, dude, you have no idea who I am. I mean, you don't have no idea who you're messing with. And he's gonna say back to me, you know, you're the laughing stock of, of all the YouTubers. It's okay, if I'm the laughing stock, then I'll be the laughing stock, but I'm the only one who's actually showing brothers and sisters how to tap back into technology and nobody else is. So I guess that's, I guess that's a joke then. But your singularity helps other brothers and sisters who want to awaken it helps to remember what we talked about how how when you um go deeper within yourself it charges up nature gives nature more power gives nature more energy this is extremely important brothers and sisters that we understand that what we do charges up nature what we do brings a powerful energy from us to charge up the, the nature of our planet The cosmic energy within nature of our planet And your singularity Plays a role That's your oneness Singularity is nothing but oneness It's being one with everything That is of nature Everything is a cosmos Being one with the trees One with the water One with the wind One with the fire One with the magnetism One with the plasma One with the ether One with the photons All right then you one with with all the planets. That's why it's important to learn the name of these planets. All right, and become one with them. When you learn them, you go into your state of meditation. You use your imagination because your imagination helps you to go into the astral realm, and you go to that planet, and therefore you become one with it, one with the all. You talk about the all. You talk about the all. You talk about everything that is that is there that is not at your at, at physically at your at your grasp all right you know you know you got you got the sun mercury venus our planet uh mars jupiter um uh saturn uranus neptune pluto you know you got that but what about planet carissa planet cassandra planet sheba all right planet planet uh art mark then you got then you got uh, planet Taurus, you got planet Cap Capricorn, you got planet uh, uh, Cancer, you know, you got all these different planets out here, as well as you have star systems that's connected to these planets. But you become, you can become one with each one of them in your state of meditation to make yourself more powerful. All right, you have to remember that we are organic machines. We run on hyperlink programs. These hyperlink programs are designed to help us to link into other programs. That's why we have a soul. The soul is literally that hyperlink within us, which is the cosmos. The cosmos is literally, the, the, when you go to look at space up there, that's literally a, a huge hyperlink program. And we're all a part of this program. We're, cyber, we're, 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 we're some of the most powerful cybernetic beings ever known. All right, we talked about the cybernetics. We talked about how our heart beats on its own. We talked about how our organs operate on their own. Our body knows how to heal itself, especially when we give ourselves the proper diet, okay? We talked about, you know, the breathing techniques and how we can literally charge up the uh, um, the electron um, uh, atoms within us. I mean, we are organic machines. We're literally the most powerful of the organic Organic robotics ever know I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there Just like that This is the reality This is the reality So when somebody say Oh yeah the robot's taking over Well you know We're the original We're cyber We're cyborgs We, are, we were created in the image of A greater force Okay We're the greatest of cybernetics So our job our duty is to be one 
And in our oneness, we learn all kind of, we get all kind of information. We learn things. I'm getting things on turbines. I'm getting things on, I'm receiving information on crystal-based engines, crystal-based motors. I'm going to receive information on magnet-based motors. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start going into how to uh, harness the gases in the air because we got multiple gases that are in the air and I'm trying to and, and, and I'm going into how, how to harness the gas in the air when you go into oneness when you go into singularity you begin to understand what is taking place now in your singularity you may have to remember that you still have to remain in balance all right there's no trick to it there's there's no trick to this it's about you remaining in balance which means you can't be too physical that you're not that you uh, 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 it takes you away from spirituality and you can't be too sp spiritual where it takes you from the physical realm. All right. So you got to be perfectly balanced, which means that, yeah, you got family members who are not awakened. So what you have family members who are not awakened. You don't separate yourself from them. You mingle with them. You talk with them because it's, it's why you laughing and, and talking with family and friends who you know are not awakened. You're trading energies between each other. Your energy that your energy which is awakened and you don't have to come to them talking about oh man and, and Jupiter and this and this and this you know. They want to talk about football talk about football. If they want to talk about basketball talk about basketball. But what happens is the energy within you that oneness that's within you passes over to them. You understand that so that oneness within you passes over to them and it helps and 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 this helps them to build the energy that they belong to all right it's important that we understand oneness singularity that oneness takes you into that place of the order of the cosmos takes you to that place of the absolute balance like that one sister says, we're not worried about artificial intelligence because we are the absolute intelligence. That one that takes you to that absolute intelligence where you get information. All right. And it's all about, you know, getting this information, passing it on. All right. I don't I don't charge you all to I would be like, OK, I got some information. But if you want this information, come to this class right here and it's, it's going to be 70, 75 dollars per person to get this class I don't, I don't do that but every now and then you might see on this say hey hey i'll take donations you know and i'll put my donation thing in there you know if you want to give me a donation whatever from, from a time or whatever that I, that I give but for the most part i don't i don't um i don't say you know whatever 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 so when you get this information you pass it on all right just like in uh in, in the movie lucy you know when uh, she went to um, the, the the professor, who's Morgan Freeman, who's playing a playing a professor, and she says, "I'm getting all this information." She says, "What am I supposed to do with it?" And he says to her so simply, he says, "You get this information, you share it. All right, and the reason why you share it." is because you are, you gain information and you pass it on. Once you release that information that you get, it's all through your oneness, your singularity. Once you receive, you, you let go of that information, you receive more and your information becomes, the information becomes more, more and more powerful, but you have to remember to remain in balance. All right. You can't judge anyone for, for what you think they're not. All right. Like, you know, I, yeah, I have family members that were beautiful members. Are they awakened? No, they're not awakened, but they're beautiful members. And I mean, we can sit down and have conversation, talk for hours and hours and hours. And not one time will I come out of my mouth about, oh, you got to you got to be in an awakened state. You got to do this. You got to do this. And you got to meditate. No, no, we talk and we have fun. We laugh. We play spades and you know what what was that we playing spades and and uno and all that we we having family time this is what you mean you be in balance all right but after you leave ring 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 what's up you know um after you left i started having this thought about this or that and you know i'm not really there yet but you know i'm gonna get there 
And it's like, I didn't even say anything about it. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is where we're coming from. All right? This is where we're coming from. This and this is this is literally how it works. Your oneness and your singularity. Your singularity is oneness. Oneness with the all. Oneness. Being one with everything that is out there. Like I say, you be one with the trees, one with the grass, one with the wind, one with the water, one with uh, magnetism, one with the electricity, one with the photon energy, one with the with the plasma energy, one with the uh, the the ether. All right, you one with the, the sun, one with the moon, one with all the planets, and one. I mean, that's 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 that singularity, yeah. becoming one with it all, and therefore, this will help your transformation. Each one of us has our own. Which you call time of supernova. Each one of us has our own. What that's what you call an epiphany, or an epiphany is also known as the rapture. The rapture and the supernova run hand in hand, which is a spiritually enhanced mindset. So each one of us has that point where our spiritual mindset is so great that it causes us to transform, and therefore we become new vessels, new beings. All right. New beings of an absolute power, of an absolute energy. You understand that? It's important, brothers and sisters, that we as original beings begin to understand how to flow into this energy. Don't judge another brother or sister. Don't feel like they're less than you. Don't do that. Don't judge yourself. If you do something, you did it. All right? So make sure you make corrections on, on what you do. Don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel worthless. Don't try to bring yourself to a state where you're not. Just like we said in the last message, brothers and sisters, we ready to fly. Well, you're, it's, we're not there yet. We're not. We we talking real talk. We're not there. We're not flying. We're not levitating. We're not there yet. We still have to expand our minds. All right, it's a lot that must go on, but you have to have that point of singularity, which means that you have to have that point where you're going into this hyper state of meditation to carry yourself into a more advanced mindset. That's why we gotta focus on increasing our, our energies, increasing our powers, increasing everything that's around us, becoming, you know, uh, increasing our intelligence. When you increase your intelligence, you increase the powers that are all around you, within you. Your intelligence is extremely important, which means that your intelligence is based upon your studying, your gaining information. That's what your intelligence is, is based on, the information and all that you gain. And this takes you into a higher area of wisdom, knowledge, all right? Mental clarity. All right. So singularity, your level of singularity will help you to go into this powerful state of transformation, which will allow you to be on a more supreme level. Therefore, you will you will literally be seen as a God in the state. All right. You will begin to vibrate on a completely different level. That's why we we did the, the the things on the breathing exercises. These breathing exercises help you to be able to vibrate on a different level. All right, understanding that your singularity, you being in a, in a state of singularity, allows you to transform. And remember. Everybody's transformation is a different time, different day. But you, you but you get to transform. All right? That's that's your that's that's your epiphany. That's your your state of supernova, your state of rapture. All right? I catch you guys later. I just pass that on to you just you know just I got that message while I was resting in my state of meditation and said singularity your singularity is literally um, you stand in a, in a powerful state of singularity and literally assists everyone in their state of transformation. All right. 
extremely important. Extremely, extremely important. All right, guys? So, all right. Catch you later. You know the deal, brothers and sisters. All powerful to the motor chakra, celestial, angelic beings. Make chaos run through forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos is everything. Remember, chaos is everything. Your singularity, your level of singularity, which means you being one with the all, but at the same time, you being balanced, not being th pulled away. All right? You can't say, I'm, oh, I can watch all the porno I want to and still tap into. No, no, you can't do that because now you're damaging your programs. Oh, I can play all the games I want to play. No, you damaging your games. You have to stay focused. Oh, I can have sex with all these women. I can have sex with all these men. Because I love having sex. No, we find you one partner, but get into a state of singularity. All right? Because sex is energy. <laughs> For real. <laughs> That's why you got so many crazy people around here. They, done, they trading up everybody else's energy and, and don't have their own energy. Still be in a state of singularity and therefore you begin to go into a new state of transformation. All right. Transforming into a new energy, a new vibration, a new frequency, a new power. All right. Much power to you all.